I don't think I can get all of these in one <laughs> pile but basically I wanted to do my 2B red pile for the next till September so because we're self-isolating with my mum he's ill so anyway I wanted to do a 2B red pile for until September so then obviously in September we'll see how much I've read and how much I've stuck to the pile and whether I've nailed that 250 books so many pages okay so the first one hi tiny hmm, what should I do first I shall do this one first because I'm currently reading ignite me by Tahara Mafi I think I pronounced that right and I'm currently this is the second book in the series for the shatter me series um and I'm on page 13 and so far I'm liking it I'm still liking the series I haven't like you know gone against it or anything so I'm enjoying it and it's about um can't remember her name now I hate having them with us Juliet it's about Juliet who goes and who has this power that if she touched someone without wearing gloves she can kill them and she goes to this establishment to fight against this other person called Warren, who I think she's kind of likes and fallen in love with. So I did read, no, sorry, this is the third book. What am I talking about? So I did read the first and the second, which they have to go back to the library because I borrowed the series, but book six, um, I placed them with Waterstones because I wanted, like, they got the stamp scheme. So I'm currently reading this 13 pages in and I'm hoping to finish it over the next, probably give myself Sunday, um, yeah so I'm hoping to finish this by Sunday uh, so I can either move on with that or carry on with another series that I was reading which was Mercy which is like an angel book series so I sort of like narrate between two series at a time so I'll read one series of the first book and the next series of the second book just because I can read series better like that unless it's my favourite author which are Alice in the Well and Amanda Hawking so I chose a lot <laughs> so the next one I have is The Little Book of Bob Life Lessons from a Streetwise Cat and this by James Bowen, Bowen. I have all of the books, I have the DVD, I'm a cat lover myself, along with my mum we have four cats, we recently had two who passed um, of cancer and we didn't know the signs and we caught it too late so we did the kindest thing and had them put to rest because they were terminal but there's like little illustrations and it's such a short read as well so once I've read that that will go with my Bob collection as I call it and that's just his life stories. I think these are just like little short poem sort of stories. So you've got Judge Others by Actions Not Words. Don't let your boat take in water. Which I think is quite nice. Oh, I don't know what to do next. Okay, I think we'll go for this one. The next one that I borrowed from the library that I was really interested to read that you can't buy from Waterstones now because they are at a stock and Waterstones doesn't restock them but I could try Amazon but I wanted to borrow them first before I made a decision whether I wanted to buy my own copies and that is Half Blood by Jennifer L. Almontrout, the first convenient novel I don't know much about this novel I don't know anything about it at all apart from I think Gods and Mortals, My Thing, Pure Blood, Powers, Relationships, Forbidden, sounds right up my alley so once I've read it I'll try and give an opinion of it but unfortunately on a daily basis I suffer from memory loss so I'm having to write everything down that I've done during the day to try and read up my memory but it doesn't work so let me know in the comments if you've read this and you know more about it and your opinions on how you feel about it 
The next one I have um, is The Liars by Jennifer, which I can't pronounce her, her name and I don't want to ruin it. So this is The Liars and again I don't know much about it apart from the mother's an alcoholic, they're on an island, um, the summer promises, graduating from high school and dreams about leaving the island and secrets from their mother's past which will threaten to destroy everything so again it sounds summery a nice beach read which i won't be going to the beach but i like to sit in the back garden in the summer and read with the umbrella up with a cup of herbal tea so if i can't go to the beach i'll do it in the back garden and it just sounds well, I wouldn't say it sounds fun, um, just because obviously there's, you've got an alcoholic mother in there, you, you know, secrets and past, but it, it sounds like it's going to be a good summer read and I might learn something from this book. Now, the next one is The Sarah Deaths in That Summer. I have borrowed this one from the library. I think about four or five years ago and I read it and I really loved it and I wanted my own copy but I didn't want the other cover because there's I think there's two covers I believe there's this cover and the other cover so and if I remember correctly I really liked reading it and loving it so now I've got my own copy I'm gonna go over it again and see if I can jog my memory and I'm hoping I'll enjoy it as much as I did the first time Especially if I can't remember stuff from it again. <laughs> then I also have another one by Sarah Destin, The Moon and More, which I haven't read. Um, my cat, Silver, who is seizure trained himself, he kind of, because we do this thing every year where birthday, Christmas, I'll get him some stuff from the pet shop. And my mum, uh, his mum, because he's my brother, will go and buy me something and he got me this for valentine's day i think the moon and more and i really like the cover and it's a really nice cover and again i have read the back and i did try and read a few pages but because of what my mum was going through it was a struggle and we've recently had some good news so hopefully i can get back into reading again but it's a really good summer read high school parties your typical summer reads and i really like sarah Dessen's writing and it's really nice i haven't got all of her books i had the along for the ride i've read that summer i've read that i'm gonna reread and then this one that i haven't read that i'm gonna read so whether by the end of this i will get more the next two books the book two and book three which i've read the first book which i borrowed from the library i had to return it and so i wanted my own copies of the series and they recently done a recover of them um so the library had them and i borrowed them from the library again but also i wanted my own copy so the library copies will be going back with the shatter me series once the library's open after this fire with fire ashes to ashes now the plot twist for Mary I was not expecting that but she was a ghost haunting and that her aunt could see her and the girls could see her but yeah she wasn't above anything else and that is what really made me love the story even more so I got my own copies to keep and add to my keep collection pile um, this is another one that I've also read, I borrowed from the library when it first got released and even though it's really sad and it has happened in real life, I really like the book so I've got my own copy and it's basically where, um, so it's Close Your Eyes by Nikki, Nikki Cope, I'm so sorry if I've got that wrong to the author, but this is about a boy who goes and does a high school shooting and it is I believe if I remember correctly that it's not a British school it's over the states which obviously it has happened in real life um 
but I think for me, I never understood with my lenses really why it happened over in the US. So I think reading this book, you can kind of relate into the mind frame of the person and the other people who are involved. So even though I know it's not because it has happened in real life and it is a real thing and it might be difficult for some people but I did really enjoy this book and I did give it five stars and it kind of did help me understand a little bit better. The next one I have which gives me the Riverdale vibes and I love that because it's got the dino on the back and the cover is all dark and pink. And this is first edition but not signed and that is the Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. I'm so sorry. And again, I don't know much about it. I haven't really read the blurbs but it's like when bodies start to appear in the woods the locals become downright hostile. Can teenagers, can the teenagers solve the mystery of four paths and their own path in it? So it sounds really dark and a bit like Riverdale and Pretty Little Liars sort of vibes, I don't know. I probably shouldn't say Pretty Little Liars because Pretty Little Liars was quite a lot different. But I'm hoping to read this soon but I want to read it kind of sort of September time when it sort of winter hits. I just feel that would be the right time. The next one I have is Sarah Crossan Free. And this is the first book, book one of two. And this is, are you behind me? Hey, hey, hi, 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 Stazzy, hi, Buddy, hi, Buddy. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna help? Okay, you're gonna help. I'm gonna move over so you can help. Okay, so this one is Breathe by, oh, he's so beautiful, by Sarah Crossin, and this one is Where the Earth Has Been Destroyed, the Oxygen Levels Plunge, and they sort of have to depend on their own survival, and I'm assuming they're in a dome right here. So this has been sitting in my bottom of my wardrobe for the last five or six years, I think. So I thought it was about time to put it out and read it. And then I can't read it. And the next one I have is The Siren by Kira Clare. Yeah. Now I thought this one was a mermaid one based, but I'm not 100% sure what it was about. But I bought it because I really liked the, the cover of it. And I kind of got like that summer revival from it. And I was going to read it the summer it came out, but I never got around to it. So I'm hoping to read that this year and hopefully I'll have an opinion but I, even if I don't like it, I think I might just keep it because I really love this beachy cover on the back. I'm a sucker for anything that's beachy. Now the next one I have is I did read it from the library. I asked the library to request it to read it and then I wanted my own copy and that is The Mirror in the Sky. And I can never pronounce names properly but I think when I read it the first time there was a note I left in that book and before we were put in lockdown I found that book in my local library near me and there was a note saying I gave it five stars and to get my own copy I obviously never took the note out but yeah I really loved it and it also said that I read it in one sitting which Really, for a, what's it, over 300 pages, I normally read 100 pages a day, so to have it in one sitting is saying a lot, but I do like that DVD and other, uh... so, and then we have the ones to finish off from that series, which is Defy Me, Imagine Me, book six. I think this is book five. I'm just gonna try and find book. Which now I can't find. And restore me. So I'm on the third one. I have three left. 
to read so I'm not sure whether I'm going to get fed up halfway through but this copy here I bought was mine these two are the libraries um yeah so I really like all the eye cover but I don't know whether I'm going to get my own copy of the series just because I am enjoying it but I don't know if I just want my own copy because the series is so long and I, I have a limited amount of space in my room and I'm quite a clutter holder. Okay, so the next one is I've read book one and book two and I let them both go because I was kind of like, I didn't really want to keep the copies and it's basically about her she's had someone picked for her to be her partner she didn't love them she loves someone else so she sort of has to break free and kind of fall in love with that person but this is the third and final book which i haven't read yet which is reached by ali condi and i'm really hoping i'm gonna get to it soon but the second the first book wasn't too bad the first books are never too bad because you know brand new series but when you get to like book two and three, you sort of that. No, I don't know. So, yeah, I definitely know for a fact that this one will either be sold or donated once I've read it. And then we have Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendria Blake. I got that right. I didn't get it right in my Relaxation Channel one. But this is the first book, can't get hold of the second book, so thank god it's the first book, but I'm beginning to wonder whether to save this one for October for Halloween, um, just because I think that might be a better read. So, and it says not for younger readers, so I don't know whether I'll have nightmares with that one. And then I have The Secret Lies With You by Freya Bird, and it's about three close friends, two unforgettable unforgettable summers one girl stalker secrets which again sounds like a summary read right up my alley and it's quite a short read as well so i should get through that one in less than probably about four days and then i have fury um which was meant to be the final book but i believe that the fifth one came which is Ref, I think, by Rebecca Lim. I read the first one, which was Mercy, which I have that right here, and I'm debating about whether I keep it or not. Um, so I read this one, and I liked it, and I enjoyed it. I uh, did struggle to concentrate on that one because of what the family were going through. And then we have Muse, which is book three, which I really love the cover to this one. And then we have Exile, all by Rebecca, Rebecca Lim, book two, book three, book four, book five. It was meant to be four books. And it's basically about a angel who has to go into, well, he goes into human bodies and she has to live that person's life. And then she kind of... I wouldn't say fall in love, but the boy who, the body she fell in of Lauren, who disappeared, and eventually they did find the girls who were missing, and, it, you know, she was a singer in a choir, so she was having to sing um, the lyrics for the girl, so I'm hoping as more time goes along, I should find out whether I like the series or not. Which I think I'm going to have to stop writing notes down about everything. So the next one I have is Bob No Ordinary Cat by James Bowen. It's a kitty! Like you! You're a pretty! And I love you! Fluffy bam! Fluffy bams! Fluffy buggy! So this is Bob No Ordinary Cat by James Bowen. Sorry, I got distracted. By Stazzy, Stazzy, <laughs> and this is about his James and uh, James and Bob's life because obviously they were homeless. Bob found James, 
and it's just basically about that kind of thing really I'm doing all other stuff so I'm going to make some open up for over time and then we've got How To Be Bad by E. Lockhart, Lauren and Sarah and I can't pronounce their last names Um, because the only reason why I can pronounce E. Lockhart is because I've read most of her um, I read We Were Liars and then I have a couple of her others, that's how I recognise her but this sounds like um, you know like the good and then they're going to be bad so that sounds like I think it's going to be a nice summer read I don't know I hope it is but anyway and then the next one is by my favourite author and I've been meaning <laughs> I've been wanting to read this since I mean when it was released my mum got it for me on the release date and she took me to the Waterstones did I remember that study Do I remember? Did I do well? Thank you. Um, yeah, so this is Fated by Alison Well. So I think just by having this book out again it's triggered something. Um, yeah, but this is Fated by Alison Well, book one, and I think altogether there's four books altogether. But the covers are beautiful, and Alison Well's Shimmer book, um, the Riley Bloom series, is the first book I read that got me into reading so I can't wait to read this one and I definitely want to do a review so I'm going to have to get my notepad out and take notes of all these and then the next one I have is Sky in the Deep by Andrean Young and if I heard that if you read this one first and then the girl the sea gave back I believe the girl the sea gave back and then it will make sense for the story I believe so I'm gonna read this one first and I'm gonna read the girl the sea gave back and then I have storms by Chris Vick which is about a boy and a girl and how they're surfing all the time and she wants to be I think so I'm not 100% sure but hopefully I'll read this one soon and then and then I have Clean by Juno Dawson which is about drugs and getting clean and wanting to be clean and it's a dirty business getting clean and coming away from the drugs and it does say for readers of 14 plus so I'm looking forward to reading that um, to try and get a perspective from, you know, someone who does drugs. And then The Girl the Sea Gave Back, which is, I don't know whether it's a follow on or not. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. And then I have three that I started reading last year that I never got round to finishing but I've kept the bookmarks in and I'm on the bound dragon for Throne of Grass by Sarah J Maas I kind of like it um, but I'm going to be honest I can't see myself I have the rest of the series in my wardrobe but I can't see myself keeping this series once I've read it um, just because of how many books there is and that's so long so long that a lot of people have found with the silver tint and thing it does come off after a time and so there's that and then I started reading Frostfire by Amanda Hocken and yeah so I started reading that and I was really liking it I know I'm definitely going to keep this because I love the girl in the picture and have dark but I want to try and get this one read in maybe winter time again um, maybe September time I want to read that one and then last I then have Nil Unlock by Len Matson and again I'm one chapter in 
and I read the first one and this is the second one and they go from different characters but I prefer the first one because I felt that the connection between the first two characters and Nil were I just really liked it better than this one but I donated Nil to the charity shop and I'm kind of regretting that now because I feel that I could have just read Nil and not follow on for these two but I don't think I'll be keeping Nil Unlocked and Nil On Fire after I've read them. So that's my to be read pile for <laughs> until September. So hopefully you'll get a new video and then. So thank you for watching and I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy your day.